Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I'm back here with my friend Eric. We are in the marsh, as you can see, just right at the sunrise. We're gonna boogie on back to this back lake and see if I can find those reds that were back here schooling the other day when I came back here with Justin from Bite and Fight Angler. So I'm gonna be throwing a few of his haymakers. and I know I gave Eric a few, so we're gonna try them and see if we can find some of those reds but thanks again for coming back don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and hopefully you catch us hooking up myself a nice nice red big one Little speckler. Uh, little speckle trout. Uh, little dink right here. Get him off there. Dang. Right there. There we go. Nice little guy. Gonna let him swim on. Fight, fight. And we're turning all crazy. Let's see if we can turn around here. First little fish of the day. Nice to get that trout out of the way. First bite out of the way. Oh, this marsh system is very shallow still, which I knew it would be. Whew. We are just bellying through this area. Water level is just so low. Ah, it's painful. Water level is much lower than it was last time I was out here. I think we might be at low tide. I did not check the tide. I have no idea what the tide is doing. I seen a few reds just pushing through. I seen a few reds pushing, chasing bait. There we go! Got him. <clears throat> Dang it, line was slack. Oh, oh, golly. Alright, so I don't know if y'all missed or not, but I just hooked into his little little black drum. I measure him just for fun. Caught him on this fight and bite angler, this haymaker. Let's get this guy. Uh, Eric. Yeah, he might be close. Little guy. Saw him blowing up on some bait and ripping through because we're in real shallow water. So, saw him blowing through and cast on him, thinking he was a red. Yeah, he's touching 16. You want him? Yeah. Little 16 incher. Well, gotta be 14 in Texas. Yeah. So he's a keeper by a few inches. Eric's gonna keep him. I'm not a. I'm not keeping anything today. I didn't even bring anything to put them in. I put them on, string them up with. 
so we're seeing reds pop chasing bait I'm trying to see where they're at wherever the baits can run that's where they're gonna run I think like they might still be in front of us some a little bit this wind is pushing pretty good though about 15 mile an hour headwind coming back over here I just saw something hit the surface on that side keep our eye open because they just been all in right here so hopefully we can get to them without scaring them so you got shallow water pretty good wind coming from right ahead of us and poor water visibility I mean there's probably like not even an inch of visibility so you literally have to put it in front of their feet small school maybe about four or five myself a nice nice red big one big red he is just motoring ah. he just hammered this bait probably a bull maybe close to upper it's definitely upper slot maybe close to a bull let's see if we can oh it broke off broke off man I just broke off nice bull oh that hurt yep just broke clean well we have been back here for a while now and we lost the school of reds and we just didn't see I haven't seen them again since then since I hooked up a couple little little tails that they were around the area but nothing like before so there's not a whole lot of action back here so we're gonna hit out of this back lake and make our way back through the marsh and hopefully we'll be able to see a lot of action and a lot of fish jumping like we did coming back in there I still can't believe I lost that big red but that is fishing ain't it no he got off nope he's there little guy little 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 guy little speck Ugh. just changed colors too we're seeing a lot of glass minnows so i put that clear a clear one on oh god little guy don't go in there don't go in there don't go in there <laughs> man they're trying to save your life Got him. Oh, got him. Yep. <clears throat> he is hauling butt. A nice speck here. <clears throat> oh. Cut her on this bite and fight angler. Haymaker. It's about 15 and a half. Nice looking guy. Right up to it. There we go. That's a nice one. Nice day. Uh, he close? He is close. He's gonna be close. Lost my lure though. I don't know where it went. Yep, shook it off. Oh, come on, Dale. I'm gonna get you measured up, buddy. 
he might be small he might be 13 14 and close to three quarters oh he's gone all right so that's gonna do it today came out my boy Eric we came out today hit that marsh he just broke in his 2020 Outback, how you, yes, what do you think about that Outback, here? I love Eric? it, man. I love it. Fast, lighter, best kayak I've known. What, what, what were you in before that? Uh, PA-14. PA-14. Yeah. So, Eric goes on that Outback, looking good out there in the water. You know, I missed a big red. Probably one of the biggest reds. Probably the biggest red. <laughs> okay, we're going to say it. It was the biggest red I ever yes, hooked sir. up in my kayak out here inshore broke my heart i'm gonna be sick how many times i brought it up today man at least 20 <laughs> <laughs> on a, a minimum in about 20 i'm gonna need a hug when i get home i'm <laughs> telling you that one hurt but hey thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and share see you next time hopefully you catch me hooking up yes sir